Hello and welcome to the Stephlux series. This is episode 3 and now I will show you everything I added to my game called Catch Me in this week. Let's start with bug fixing. I noticed that this enemy wasn't shooting but he is supposed to. This bug first appeared when I changed the movement script for the missiles ability. I had to change it because otherwise the missiles would move as smooth as they do now. After some time I tried to not find the bug in the movement script but in the enemy script. With changing this line here I solved the problem. Actually that wasn't really the mistake but I worked around it. For now it's working so that's good. After fixing that I worked a bit more on the missiles. I wanted that they explode when there's no enemy nearby. That was a very easy change, so here is the final result. Next up, I reworked the teleport ability for the stage 2 boss. Thanks to this comment who gave me some really good ideas. One of the ideas was that the teleportation marker should follow the player around and then stop after some time for the teleportation. I think the idea is very interesting and yeah I agree with you that this change would make fighting the boss more challenging. It's now even more challenging to complete the boss fight. Also the shield ability for the player needed an effect for breaking so you notice when you don't have a barrier anymore. Implementing this didn't take a lot of time. The next goal was a countdown that should appear when you close the pause menu, so you can reposition your mouse cursor. This will prevent you from going in some random direction. The first attempt on programming this failed and I didn't got it working. But for the second try I sat down and worked very hard. I think it turned out very well and looks cool. Also the counter animation is smooth and short. And actually that's it for the devlog. You can write your ideas and critique in the comment section. I would also very appreciate a like. And so goodbye.